Now, in this lecture, we're going to talk about the string module. If you want to work with string, then Python provides a string module. Python string module provides a constant for string related operations. String module provides some useful information. Now, let's take a look at some examples of string module and see how we can use it in Python. I'm going to first import the string module inside the Python file. So here I'm going to say import, then specify the string module here. So I'm going to say here string. So once I have this string module inside this Python, let me just call some attributes of this string module. So I'm going to say here print and say string dot ASCII letters. Let me first execute this file and show you the result. When I execute this file, you can notice I have the ASCII characters. So this statement is going to just concatenate the ASCII lowercase and ASCII uppercase characters. Now let me just separate this lowercase and this uppercase characters. You can separate both these characters using a simple property called ASCII uppercase. When you execute your file, you can see you have all the uppercase ASCII characters. Now you can do the same for the lowercase as well. If I say here ASCII lowercase, I'm going to have all the lowercase characters of the ASCII letters. Now let's say I want to get the digit from the numbers. I'm going to just simply say here string dot digits. When I execute this file, I'm going to have all the digits as a result. If you want, you can get hex digit as well. Here I'm going to say dot hex digits. When I execute this file, I'm going to have the hex digits as a result. Just out of that, if you want, you can get the white space as well. Here I'm going to just specify string dot white space. When I execute this file, I'm going to have the white space as a result. But you are not going to see anything here because that's the white space. So you are going to get an empty space here. Once you understand this string module, let me show you some string functions that are useful when working with Python project. So for example, let's say in the print statement, I'm going to just create here a string. Here I'm going to say daily tuition. You can notice this is the string of capital characters. Now what I want, if the string is in the capital letters, I want to return true. So in Python, you have the dedicated function for that. So you just need to say here dot and just specify is uppercase. When you call this function and when you execute your file, you're going to get true as a result because this string is in the uppercase. When you just remove the string right from here and just specify everything in the lowercase, just like this, you're going to get false as a result because this string is not in the uppercase letter. You can do the same with lowercase as well. Here you can check for is lowercase and this will return true as a result. Now just for that, you can check the title as well. So for example, if I just capitalize this first character of my word and if I call here a method is title, then this statement is going to return true as a result because every word begins with an uppercase characters followed by the lowercase characters. So you can notice this word start with the uppercase character and followed by the lowercase characters. So this function is going to return true as a result. Now just for that, sometimes the string looks empty, but we don't know whether it's because it's contained just a white space or no character at all. To know that, we have a simple method. So what I'm going to do is, here I'm going to just get rid of the statement, specify dot here to call a method and here I'm going to say is space. When I execute this file, I'm going to get false as a result. Now, you can notice this is an empty string. I did not specify any space inside these double quotes. So this statement is going to return false as a result. If I specify space here and when I execute this file, I'm going to get true as a result. So you can notice this string have space. So using this method, you can identify whether the string has space or not. I hope you understand the basic and advanced Python. But this is not the end of learning Python. There is a lot more to learn. You can find more about Python on the Python documentation. I hope you like this Python series. I really appreciate your support and thank you for all your support for this Python tutorial series. Subscribe this channel if you haven't done yet. That is all for now. I will see you with a new topic with a new series.